Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with the Indie Oogle, and in this tutorial, I'm not going to be focusing on platforming. I will be doing more tutorials on that, don't worry. But in this tutorial, I want to go over scripts. And this is going to take a little bit to explain. I might even have to split it up into two videos. So I've already got something done here. I've added in the sprites. I've just got a basic box with a gradient in it and another sprite that I want to use as the achievement symbol. That's what we're going to be going over is achievements and scripts. So we'll create a script and name it um, scr underscore draw. And in this, um, some of you may know what arguments are, some of you may not. So I'll go over this. Uh, text draw, for example. Or, no, uh, draw text, I mean. Um, inside of these parentheses here, like the x, uh, put it 0, and y, 0, and then the string, those are all arguments. It's what defines what the command will really do. So you've already used arguments, so this will be pretty simple. I want to set up a few, uh, a few of them here. When you're using scripts, you can use your own arguments to create your own commands. So this is what I'll do. I'll create a text argument. And that is how you set an argument. You create a variable name and you assign it to one of the arguments. And I'll do this for the other ones. Okay. So we have a text, sprite, and sub argument. And you'll want to remember what those what number those are because you have to set these arguments in order just like any of the other game maker commands. And now we'll use uh, draw sprite uh, spr act box and that's the sprite here and sub image we'll use zero and we'll draw it at zero by zero for now now we need to do another draw sprite and we'll use draw sprite ext I actually need to add an ext to that too for extended and we'll use sprot and sub and zero by zero one one zero c what and alpha okay now I'm not sure if I went over a uh, draw sprot extend before but basically you just set the sprot you want to use the sub image you want to use where you want to draw it to then the X scale and the Y scale. If you want it to just be whatever you've got for the sprite, then just set it to one by one. The zero here is the rotation. If you don't want it be, to be rotated, just set that to zero. And if you use C watt, it doesn't change the color, so that's what I always use. And alpha, uh, that's how much it's faded, but we're going to assign this to a variable, which we haven't set that up yet, but we will in just a little bit. And we need to go ahead and add in the rest of the arguments to this. Okay. And now we'll draw text. And we're using draw text color for this. We'll draw it 0 to 0. And we're going to use text C black. C black. C black and C black. And we'll also use alpha for that one too. And if you haven't discovered this, when you have the uh, text editor here maximized, then when you type in a command, you can actually see right down here what argument you're on. So use that as a reference if you're not very familiar with the uh, command. But that's all we need for the script. Now we'll create an object. And we'll just name that OBJ controller. And we add, need to create an create event and add in some variables. This is where you will define all of the achievements. For this one, the only achievement I'm going to be doing is an achievement called space or whatever. 
So I'll just create. You want to use a descriptive name so you'll know exactly what it is. And it's good to always use these two forward slashes and create a comment to tell you exactly what you have to do to earn that achievement. So I'm just going to use space equals false. And we need for every achievement that you create, you need to create the achievement variable, which is going to be the name or something referring to the achievement and set it to false. And then you'll need to create the same variable, but add in an underscore draw or however you want to type it out. That's what I'm going to be using, though, and set that to false also. Then you need to add in a variable called alpha and set that to zero. OK, now add in key press space and we'll add in some code to that. Okay, so anytime that you make a variable or make the achievement uh, unlock, in this case you have to press space to unlock the achievement, you're going to check if the achievement has been earned yet. If not, then you're going to set it to true. You're going to set the achievement draw variable to true. Set up an alarm 0 to 50, or whatever alarm you're to in your game, and set alpha to 1. Okay. Now in the alarm event. Okay. So in the alarm event, it's just going to check if alpha is above zero. If so, it's going to subtract 0 0.1 from it and reset the alarm. Okay. Now create a draw event. Okay, now in this part, you won't know what this is doing. Well, you might, but I'm actually using the script we created, the scr underscore draw. And like I said, you, we defined our own arguments for it, and that's what these are. The first argument is the text that you want to appear. I'm using achievement unlocked, exclamation mark. For argument two, it's the sprite you want to use for the achievement sprite. I'm using spr act sprite. And for the sub image, or the third argument, is going to be the sub image, and I'm just going to use zero. Okay. Now we actually need to create another script. And we'll name that scr underscore uh, ach false. And here, like I said, you're, you're going to set up two variables for every achievement. One of them is going to be a draw variable. Well, in this scr underscore ACH false, you're going to set every one of the uh, draw variables to false. So in this case, I've only got one. So space underscore draw equals false. Okay. And in the uh, step event, we'll just set if alpha equals zero, then scr ACH false and alpha equals minus one okay and what we're doing here is if alpha equals zero it just calls the uh, script to set all the draw variables to false and we're setting alpha to minus one that way alpha is not going to be Increasing or decreasing, I'm not really sure if it makes a difference on the performance of the game, but I have OCD, so I can't just uh, leave it at zero and let it keep calling the script over and over again, so I'm just going to set it to minus one. Okay, and in the draw event, where these things are drawn is definitely going to have to be worked out to get it to how you want it. 
but we can go on ahead and create a room and test it out here. And in this object here, the way it's going to work, since it's an object controller, it's got everything we need. If you uh, want to leave it in this object instead of putting it in like the main player, then the only thing you'll have to do is set this uh, or place this object in the very first room of the game. And it can be even a title menu where you have the start button, quit button, all that. Just place it there and then click this little persistent button and click OK. Now let's run our game. And press space. And it appears. Although, uh, seems that it might disappear a little too slow. But you can change that and get it to however you want it. Uh, probably set this to about 1. And let's try that. Press space, and there you have it. It fades out way quicker now. Um, you can actually draw this at about 0 and 16, and then draw this at about 32 and 16. I'm not sure how this is going to look, but we'll test it out. Okay, let's try this again. And hit space. And it looks a little bit better. The achievement uh, achievement box here is really too big, but uh, you get the idea anyway. And you now know how to create achievements. And there's something I'm going to start doing for every tutorial like this. I'm going to put a link in the description box with a GMK file so you can uh, open it up. I'll have it fully commented and you can go over the code without having to watch this video again. Plus, I might even have extra stuff added in those files. Just like this one, I've in the file I'm going to give you, it's got three different achievements and one of them even has progress. You have to click on the screen ten times before you can earn the achievement. And like I said, it's fully commented, so you shouldn't have a problem understanding it. But if you do, you can contact me, and I'll help you the very best I can. But I will see you in the next one, and hope you enjoyed the tutorial.